barbershop conversation, guys, feel free to hit the subscribe button. So we ended the conversation last night in a great spot. And uh, Hannibal reminded me of, I, I, I would suggest that y'all go uh, watch the second half of the conversation yesterday as it pertains to uh, the live we did yesterday. All men, go watch that show. And um, Hannibal said something. I believe it was Hannibal. Uh, uh, or maybe it was Doc. I think Doc or Hannibal said something yesterday that reminded me of this lady who had a paid advertisement on Hollywood Unlocked. And the advertisement she had was a granny, like a, a thought granny. She half naked, little shorts, and it may be a character she's playing. But the fact that she's able to play the character and have, I saw the followers, she had 134,000 followers. And I says, God damn, this is where we're at, man, where this is a joke or this is, she's making a joke out of her life or wherever the case may be. I just want to let y'all know. And I'm going to talk about the men too that sleep with these women and have babies with these women. If you are a 35 year old grandmother, you are a failed mother. I'm gonna repeat this again. If you are a 35 year old grandmother, you are a failed grandmother. You are a failed mother. You passed on that trauma to your little daughter. She pregnant at 18, 19 years old, and and uh, all these men that are harvesting these harvesting these uh, these spies, these. Uh, uh, terrorists as uh the lapeef network calls them terrorists y'all sleeping with these terrorists y'all giving voice to these terrorists and she fits the profile of a 35 year old grandmother you know see I, I i was i was born in the hood man and you know those those 25 year old women uh that got the uh the cursive tattoos on their arm of somebody's name those are the 35 year old grandmothers man those are the 35 year old grandmas, man. They got, man, it's disgusting, man. It's flat out disgusting. And and y'all sleeping with these women, calling these your girls and allowing them to yell at you and do what you want, man. It's, just, it's flat out disgusting, man. And that advertisement on Hollywood Unlocked was disgusting, man. And the fact that everyone was like, go granny, ha ha, this shit is funny. It's disgusting. Because she ain't nothing but a loud mouth, uh, loud mouth failed mother that um, that shouldn't garnish the attention of men. But we got these low self-esteem men, you know what I mean, who are in these streets being a thug and and wifing these women, man. And next thing you know, guess what's gonna happen? You got it. She gonna beat the she gonna beat the boyfriend up. She gonna verbally abuse the boyfriend, and 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 next thing you know, it becomes cyclical. They have a child now. The child, whether it's male or female, had a baby at seventeen or eighteen, unmarried, no resources in the family. It's cyclical, man. If you are a thirty-five year old grandmother, look your ass in the mirror and say, "I have failed. I have failed my daughter." Because what's realistically gonna happen? And uh, let's have and, and let's make this conversation even more plain. The sexual abuse, the sexual trauma, the lack of self-respect, giving away your pussy, uh, giving away. And uh, when I was younger, yeah, like, you know, what I mean, but now that I, I have a five year old daughter, I see life from a different vernacular and uh, you ain't going nowhere good. You ain't going nowhere good because here's the profile of her. You know what I mean? Maybe she got caught selling a little pussy, selling a little weed. You know what I mean? She got to jail. She got a ticket, got out on her own recognizant. Uh, uh, she did a little boosting. We call it boosting on the East Coast. But boosting is like when you are when you go to a department store and you steal stuff. You go, you, you, you're basically a, a corporate thief where you go into, the, you know what I mean? And and uh, she got two baby daddies, three baby daddies, you know what I mean? And been in jail for a couple of months. And, 
you know what I mean? And and her best friend ain't shit neither. You know what I mean? If, if, if Here's another thing too. If you say, man, me, she and I have been friends for 20 years, run in the opposite direction as fast as you can. And let these dumb Negroes, these dumb Negroes fall in love with these women. Don't fall in love with these type of women, man. These 35 year old grandmothers, they do you no good. They do you no good, man. Men, focus on your goals, man, because that vagina is gonna weaken you. Trust me, trust me, trust me. And how accessible, she gonna be so accessible to you. Oh, man. Oh, she gonna trick you, man. She know how to cook two or three meals. Oh, she got two or three meals up her sleeve, you know what I mean? And she nasty. She nasty. She do everything she wants you to do. She might even like women. I'm just keeping it a buck with you, man. Go. I wish I could. I wish. Go to the last 10 minutes of my live yesterday. And I want you guys to go to her page. She had a quote that says that she's portraying or is a 30, 30 something year old grandmother. Right. And I don't care whether she's acting or real life. This is she says. She's on a treadmill walking and she got cellulite thighs. It is disgusting. Ah, uh, uh, disgusting. I, I, I don't know how y'all date these women, man. I mean, I had a rule, nines and dimes, man. That's it, nines and dimes, you know? And I just sit back and, anyways, y'all need to go see this. Y'all need to go see this. She got on those little PE shorts. You know those, I'm not sure what they call now, but when I was in grade school, they were PE shorts, you know? And now these girls wear them as tight as they can and it be up they crotch. And, um, but um, uh, the, 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 I'm gonna paraphrase the caption. You better take care of your man because when I come, I'm gonna take him from you or something like that. It was basically on the lines of that. And she's a granny. I know she has a granny wig on and uh, she looks, I, I don't know if, it's, if, if she's playing, a, I believe she's playing a role, but the fact that people are following her for laughs it's disgusting. And then we complain. And, and, and then here's the catch. Nobody love me. The black woman is the most unprotected woman in the world. Well, you got nine niggas names. Ah, I said the N-word. God. Ah, I'm getting better though. Getting better. You got nine men names on your on the side of your bicep. Yeah, go cover those up first. And that one in your lower back, go cover. And then they got the uh, the Pamela Anderson. Pamela, is that her name? Pam Anderson. They got the Bob Wire tattoo. Oh, man. The woman with the Bob Wire tattoo, they were in the streets at 19. Trust me. Trust me. You know what I mean? And I, I, I ju I'm just encouraging y'all, man. Stay away from these women. They do you no good. You know, they. I'm, I'm just keeping it a buck with you. Because in a year, oh, they're going to be great for six months you know why because they got three baby daddies right and then in six months six months she gonna start cursing you out oh oh yeah yeah she, she, yeah she's a she's a sheep in wolves clothing oh yeah her true color's gonna come out man her true color's gonna come out I, i'm gonna make the uh, i'm gonna make this video the picture of that granny that i'm speaking of man and Y'all go to her Instagram and, and, and go read that cap. Oh, it's disgusting. It's disgusting, man. And 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 I am an advocate of men. And I'm making this video for men. Let these old, trust me. Let these men with no back teeth get her. Because here's what's going to happen. Here's the profile of her. That 35, 38-year-old woman grandmother. She, she needs to fall in love with a man that does crack on the weekends. You know what I mean? That does cocaine on the weekend. He ain't got no back teeth, you know what I mean? And he and, and, and he call himself, he's still a hustler. Let them go together. Put them on an island. Because if you out there pertain, going towards your goals and you gonna be a doctor, you gonna be a lawyer and uh, uh, a school teacher, a pharmacist, a technician, uh, maybe you going to trade school, maybe you gonna be a truck driver, maybe you gonna be a carpenter, maybe you gonna be a barber. Uh, a cosmopol cosmetologist, uh, uh, a mechanic. There's so many jobs you can have, man, that will afford you a great lifestyle to, to buy yourself a home and put your kids through college and, and, and live the, the last 30 or 40 years of your life happy. You know what I mean? Don't cut the TV on and compare. 
you know what I mean? Go in the bathroom and look in the mirror and compare, you know? Um, and uh, don't let these women get you, man. I'm tr Trust me, she can cook three meals. She can cook three meals. And the walls of her vagina got too many stories, man. You know what I mean? The gums. Just think about all, man, listen. Y'all know where I'm going. Just think about all the men she done been with. Nah, walk away. Walk away, walk away, walk away. Jesus walks. <laughs> I don't know where that came from, but anyhow, man, y'all have a great day, man. And uh, um, I'm off. I'm off to uh, go see my stretch coach. And uh, see, Lincoln got me. Lincoln got me. Uh, <laughs> got a stretch coach, basketball coach, boxing coach. Man, I got so many darn coaches, man. But it's all to sustain my vitality so I can be Lincoln's father. You know what I mean? Right now, Lincoln is challenging me physically. Kennedy, not so much. She's doing ballet. But uh, Ken Lincoln is challenging me physically because he's a, he's he done fell in love with basketball. So uh, y'all have a great day. And I, I, I appreciate y'all last night, whether you were in the chat or whether you were uh, uh, you came on live. You know, what I mean, I, I genuinely want to say thank you because I, I thought the last 45 minutes of that show, we really we really and 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 it, we really turned turned the corner. I, I thought in terms of our intellectual capital, I thought we really turned the corner. But uh, these 35 year old grandmothers, yo. Nah, nah, that ain't the business, man. And I know I'm black and I'm, I'm giving you an example of a black woman, but this goes for you Mexican mothers too. This goes for your whoever, uh, Asian, whatever. Kennedy will not be a 19 year old mother. No, no. She's gonna be under my roof until she's 19 anyway, because I did the smart thing. Held them back, you know what I mean? Because I understand my my shortcomings at 17. I was I was a college freshman at 17. I'm gonna do a video on this. I was a college freshman at 17. Now Kennedy is gonna be a college freshman 18, going into 19. You know what I mean? Just that one year of social emotional development is literally what I needed. You know what I mean? And uh, but I didn't have it. And uh, but anyways, man, y'all have a great day. I'll do a video on that at some point and, and and share those stories that I can look back on and say. Yeah, that was my fault. That was my fault. That was my fault. So, it ain't my fault. Yeah, I did that. I've remixed it. Barbershop Conversations. Feel free to hit the subscribe button. Leave them 35-year-old grandmothers alone, man. Y'all gonna be boosting and selling and selling uh, dime sacks of weed, man, to make rent. Trust me. Y'all gonna be in that one-bedroom apartment renting that little tiny-ass house in the back of somebody's house. Trust me. Do you know good? And then next thing you know, y'all gonna need to make money. She gonna be in them streets doing what women do in the streets. Trust me. Barbershop conversations, man. Feel free to subscribe, but I see you guys tonight, man. Great show last night, man. Let's double back. Let's double back. Gone.